and Gennady, like uh, uh, our uh, career, like uh, sometimes, like uh, looks like each other, you know. Uh, I don't remember, but already uh, last uh, couple fights ago uh, was uh, was the same. Something uh, looks uh, same, you know. You know each other a little bit, or you know each other? With Gennady? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So uh, you you consider him? You He's guys my friends? Good friend, yeah. friends? He's so good. so you have like a little. Uh, I know a lot of times when guys are friends, when one guy does well, the friend wants to do better. So you want to see how he does tonight? Maybe try to outdo him next week? No, he's uh, he's my good friend. Uh, we live together uh, in uh, Big Bear okay. in the same training camp, you know. Like, and uh, also today, tonight we will go to watch his fight and support him. And I'm sure for for his victory. I'm happy that if I'm interesting for people, you know, like my career is interesting for people. It's uh, very important, yes. Uh, it means that my job uh, in the gym, uh, making result, you know, <coughs> making making sense, mm -hmm. have a sense. Sorry. Thank Next. <laughs> Coming out on the tail end here, so I might be asking you questions you've already been asked. How you doing, Sergey? Um, what do you know about Blake Caparello? What have you seen of him? I already said. I know. I already right? said today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I know nothing about him. I know just that he's undefeated guy and he's mighty weighted for this fight. Very big, mighty weighted. And also, he left-handed and uh, tall like me, and I said, what would I know? What kind of game plan do you expect him to have? <coughs> I don't have any plans. Mm -hmm. uh, words, what, what, what plan do you think he will have against you? Uh, I don't know, but you know, like, uh, everybody has a plan before first punch. Have you we'll, we'll see in the ring everything. I, I, I'm interested too, really, like. Have you had any conversations with Caparello before, just hello? No, Shake I hands. didn't see him. Have you his, talked to him at all? I didn't see him before now. Before now? Before, yeah, I just saw the him. The first day you saw him yeah, was now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see before. When, when, uh, there was, when Bernard Hopkins was saying he might fight you. I don't know Bernard uh, Hopkins, I know <laughs> Blake Caparella, my next fight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to you've been asked that just now. After my next fight, we'll be speaking about uh, different uh, opponents. Yeah, I thought you put out a news release where you talked about how you would... That's, that's the reason I thought to ask. I thought you put out a news release saying we would like to fight Hopkins, even though you had signed the Blake fight. I, I would like to fight a, any champion, you know, in my division. If he will be, it will be uh, Hopkins, Hopkins. It will be somebody, uh, a different guy, it will be a different guy, you know. You, it's Mike Tyson or Gennady Golovkin or yourself. When a fighter has such incredible power and is used to winning inside the distance, do you come to perhaps overly rely on that, that that's going to happen, that, that the knockout will happen at some point? Uh, you know, some some fights, yes, you're thinking about uh, if uh, something uh, emergency, you know, like uh, last fight, I, I got uh, two cut, cuts uh, on my right and le left uh, eyes. And I already began uh, thinking about, uh, yes, I need to stop early. Then the referee will say stop the fight, you know, like, and uh, yes, I, I, to I thought uh, about it and I did it. And I found this uh, open place where, <laughs> where I stopped the fight. But right now I didn't, I, I don't think about it. But I'm going to the boxing and show how can I box good too. <laughs> I will try. So, sometimes people say, you know, punchers are born, some say they're made. You look at a guy like Tommy Hearns, tall and skinny, a Mike Tyson, a Joe Frazier, short and squat. Where does your power come from? From hard workouts, uh, from hard uh, work in the gym, 
and uh, from my concentrate and from my body too, you know, like maybe my bones are heavy, I don't know. Like. <laughs> When's the first time you knew you had hard punching power? What new first time? I, I, I don't think that I have a good punch uh, yet. To, you know, like, sure, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think that... Uh, everybody can punch uh, hard, but maybe they don't want it to do it. I want it. Why do they call you the crusher? Why? Yeah, why? Uh, my promoter gave me my <laughs> this nickname. It's a nickname. Yeah. But there must be some truth behind a nickname. Yeah, yeah. There's always some truth behind it's a nickname. nickname yeah. <laughs> do you do you like the knockout? Do you like you know knocking guys out? I mean, is that something that you enjoy? Would you uh, would you rather have a knockout or would you rather have a fight go to distance? Yeah, sure. I'm happy when. Uh, and I'm very glad when people who watch me happy when I get in victory of KO. It's for me very important, yes. It's, I want to show to people they want to see. It makes a difference in the size of the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we spoke, you, were, uh, you had just gotten your green card. So how has your life changed since then? Nothing changed. Uh, just, uh, just uh, more taxes. <laughs> In Florida, Florida doesn't have state tax. Federal tax. Wow, that's any. I, I don't know, but uh, what I know about just uh, uh, can you repeat your question? Yeah, please? I said you know um, somebody like Regan Doe is a very good boxer, but some people think he's not marketable. It seems like the guys who are the big punchers, Golovkin tonight, Sergey, um, they are the guys who get most public attention. How conscious is he of the marketability end of it because of when he knocks people out? Как ты думаешь, как, насколько ты популярен можешь быть со своими ударами, как бы скажем так? Mm. Mm. I can't think about uh, myself, you know, like uh, people should uh, say about me everything, you know, like I'm not talking like uh, a lot of my opponents, like I will, I will, I will. But uh, then they go into the ring, they can do it, nothing, you know. Like. And I'm also, I can't say about me myself. People must uh, say about me, good, I, I'm, I'm good or I'm bad, you know. Like. Uh, opinion from, uh, from the side, it's uh, very important for me. When, when you retire, are you going back to... Uh Russia? No. <laughs> well, yeah. Are you going to stay here and pay taxes? I don't know. Uh, so Russia has taxes also. Well, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we, even We'll higher. see in the future. I don't know uh, answer for this uh, question. You know, like we, right now, I like uh, be in America and uh, also in Russia. But when, when, when will be better for my family, I will stay there. You, uh, you always say you want to fight champions. Yeah. This year, two fights, no champions. How do you feel about this year, how it's been? A little sad, sure, you know, like, but uh, my goal was, uh, and still, uh, to get one more title uh, in my division. But who knows, maybe next fight uh, can happen with any champion in my division. But I know like two champions in my division left. <laughs> not, not too many left. <laughs> two choices. Uh, we'll see. Who knows? I know you don't want to don't want to talk about a fight with Bernard Hopkins, but when, when he called you out a few weeks back, do you think that was genuine or do you think that that was 
clearly a motivation to drive up his paycheck for the Stevenson fight in the fall. Я знаю, что ты не хочешь разговаривать, но когда пару недель назад, когда Хапкинс сказал, что он хочет драться с собой, ты думаешь, что он просто как бы, чтобы ему больше заплатили за файт Стивенсона, а. или он действительно как бы думал про это? I don't want to speak about any, any other fights, but uh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what what, what he's thinking. About, uh, you know, maybe he wants to get more money. Maybe he wants to get a fight with uh, Stevenson. Maybe I don't know. He's smart. He's smart man. He's smart boxer. When you when you were first got into boxing when you were young, um, did you have any particular Boxing heroes or role models that 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 you wanted to pattern yourself after? Um, I like it uh, when I was a very very small kid. I like it to uh, see movies uh, with Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, it's my it was my favorite uh, movies uh, fighter. <laughs> Uh, the muscles from Brussels. Right, the, the, the I, 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 from I didn't see <laughs> full uh, series, you know, just uh, parts. Parts. So, yeah. so you didn't see Rocky yeah. one through yeah. six. You didn't see. No, it. I didn't see. Did you see the first Rocky? Yeah, first Rocky. What did you think so. of that? As a nice movie, nice idea. idea. Uh, it's uh, like a real, a real uh, life, yeah. Yeah. In the boxer's career, yeah. And again, not calling out Funfara, but just about Funfara. Do you think that's an important fight for you now? I, I have focus for for my next fight. Why I speak about somebody if uh, it can not happen at all? Why? Right now we we we're fighting uh, with Blake Aparella. You understand me? I understand. Thank you.